Right, this is video two on the Kodak camera. I've just come along a bit of the strawberry line from Winscombe using the Sony camera, video only. I can't seem to sort out the photos on that one for a long time now. I don't really know how to fix it. Years ago, there was always a camera shop. You take things in and they mended them, not anymore. It's a throwaway culture. Anyway, we're at the junction point. If you go that way, which is what I usually do and most often do, that's the West Mendip Way. That will take you to Shipham, Rowbarrow, Dalbury Warren, Rowbarrow Warren, and across the Mendips. Okay, it's the West Mendip Way. Now you can go this way as well. This is an alternative route. It's a higher one with spectacular views, which I do tend to do one time this way and then sometimes back. Um, and I'm doing this one today because I'm doing a circular of Shoot Shelf Hill, including skirting the big quarry, the big cheddar quarry, following a path down, and then, depending on time, I'll either head for the reservoir and walk a bit of it, or I'll stay up high and start making my way back to Winscombe. It all depends on the time, because I want to do this bit without rushing. I've got five hours. Probably five hours exactly now. All right, some signs. It could be saying you ain't allowed anymore. Well, there's a bull in the field. <sighs> What's that? <sighs> are they going to do start doing some upgrading of the footpath? Maybe they've done it. When are they going to start it then? There's a picture of it there. I am directed by da 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 da, da for your email da 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 da, da. <sighs> Oh I don't know, so it's all about this path anyway. Um, basically I'm going all the way up there now and I'll be turning the video off. I don't like video and going uphill, especially at the moment. So I'm gonna turn off now and take a picture of the, this map. Lovely view from here. Over There's now. even better views to come, folks. That's going towards Crook's Peak over there, up that hill. Up through Kingswood, across the Waverley Down, past the Trig Point and everything. And great views. I'll be going up that way, not this week, but very soon. And I'm now going up to the gate. I've done quite well. Better than I thought. I always thought this was much longer, this route. It's not as long as I thought, because I'm still quite fit, really. You know? The only thing that lets me down is my breathing. Old walls, views over to Winscombe over there as well, which you can't see at the moment. Well, you would see if I could be bothered to jump up there, but I can't. I'm not taking any risks. So this is an old bridle path, an old drove route. You can see it's old, it's probably been here for hundreds of years, linking various villages together. And, and I, I love them because this is like, it's like time traveling when you come along these sort of places. Um, you know others didn't have done it. The ghost of yourself has been along here quite a few times and the lower one of course the West Mendip Way it's just down a couple hundred yards away the lower route which I do when I'm going to Rowbarrow and then to Cheddar normally I've got to work on that one I might have to change the the routes I do because at the moment I've always got to get back to Winscombe Winscombe has become the new junction point for my walks it used to be cheddar. I'd only want to do cheddar 
just for memory's sake, but I don't think I'll be doing it a lot and, unless they put a bus on. Um, there might be a couple of times I go. I won't be risking the gorge at all. It's always very slippery going up there and worse coming down it. So that's probably not going to be on the cars for a bit yet. Yeah, I've only got four days left and I'll be taking the sling off, whether, not the sling, the bre the plaster, whether, I spe I'll have to have some sort of support brace for the wrist because it's going to be really weak and very delicate. I don't know if they're putting another plaster on. Who knows, they might want to put a small one on, just covering the wrist and allowing my fingers to work properly. The plaster gets in the way when I want to do anything with my fingers. It gets, it gets in the way, it won't allow you certain movements. It's, it's done for a reason, so you don't mobilise the wrist too much while it's knitting back together. Ah, oh, here's the gate. Most of the time I've been the other side of that gate as there have been cows. They might be the all year round cows that you get. And uh, so far, touch wood, I've never had any brother with them. And I usually just carry on munching their hay. And If they're not out, they will be out soon. You know? Might be sheep out. I think I can see sheep. Yeah, I can see sheep. Now, folks, I've got to do a bit of style climbing. But before I do that, I'll just zoom in over there. That's Winscombe, the village I've got to get my bus from later. Down there. I'm doing a big circular and I should end up back there and we've got five hours <coughs> less than five hours now but we've done but we've done the big hill climb I'm just getting over this style I'm going to take the camera off because it's a nice flat surface and put it on there. Here's my brace, here's my plaster. Look. I don't know which way to go at a minute. My hair gets in the way a lot. I have thought of having it cut short. It's getting on my nerves a bit now. So this is Sheila, the 2nd of March, 2023. And um, Zara's birthday tomorrow. She'll be 50. Can't believe it. And then it's also the anniversary of my sister Jude's death. It will be five years. She died on my daughter's birthday in 2018, Jude. So quiet. We're both having a quiet day. So I'll be at college, but we might go for a coffee. Um, we've decided we might have a coffee afterwards. I'm just going over here just to do some photos over to Winscombe a minute before we head up before we head up there and get onto the drove. And it's windier here. There we go, there's the playing fields down there. There's a strawberry line going through. And I'll be going down there on the way back into the town centre, right down to about there, but 
but we've got to do the walk round first and I think we'll just about make it. I've got a cut out point. Um, for example, I might not do the reservoir today if I think, because I've got to allow two hours to get back from Axbridge, don't forget, right? So, it's a possibility I won't do the reservoir today. We'll see it from the distance, of course. We'll see it from the distance. Right, we've got one more bit of hill to climb. And then we go through another stile onto the main drove, leading to Cheddar, leading to Cheddar Quarry. And then from there, We are following a path I've not done before. It's skirting the quarry to the right instead of the left where I go and should take me round Shoot Shelf Hill where there I will make a decision. But you're talking about a good hour away. All right, but this is the most of the hill that we'll have to do apart from if I do the reservoir which I don't think I'll do. The reservoir is going to take me an hour. Don't want to rush it, so I'll make that another trip. I just want to enjoy this. So there we have the back of the Mendips going towards Crook's Peak, which you can't see. In the very far distance over there, you've got Whirlbury Woods, where I spend a lot of time walking and reflecting. We've got Banwell Woods there, and just behind that tree you've got Banwell Hill Fort. And I've walked all, of, all around this area. I know it very, very well. And it's all recorded on discs. Some I do as web links to my tree. So that if there are anyone interested in the future, they can see what some of the stuff I got up to. But of course, it all depends if YouTube survives, doesn't it? I've got them saved a disc as well. I'm just going to turn off and take a picture of the scene. <laughs> 